everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. So today I'm finally continuing on with another one of my Understanding the Cosmere videos. And today I'm going to talk about the concept of investiture. Though this video won't exactly be spoilery if you want to be blind about the magic systems and the world building of the Cosmere books when you're going into them, then I wouldn't recommend this. But if you're okay with knowing some of the details of the world building ahead of time, or if you've read the books and you just want to understand it better, then feel free to watch this. <laughs> but this won't really have any spoilers as far as plot points go throughout the Cosmere books. Though I will be giving specific examples of invested items or beings, and then what the forms of investiture in the specific planet systems are. So investiture is basically what all of the magic in the Cosmere is fueled by, which is why there are systems of magic that are basically forms of investiture, and some items or beings can be invested because they kind of contain this almost magic energy. Across the Cosmere, there are three different realms. There is the physical realm, which is what we are experiencing for the most part when we are reading the Cosmere works. And in the physical realm, investiture can take the forms of a solid or a liquid or a gas. Think the metal and Mistborn, or the Stormlight and the Stormlight Archive. But then there's also the Cognitive Realm and the Spiritual Realm. We see some of the Cognitive Realm in the Cosmere, particularly when you get to the Stormlight Archive, but the Spiritual Realm is still largely unexplored, at least for us. Now because Investiture is part of this entire system, there can be areas where there's a lot of Investiture just like stored investiture almost. Now because investiture is influenced by and influences the realms, if you have a spot called a perpendicularity where a lot of investiture is held, then it can puncture the realms, which could make way for traveling between them. But that's not the point of this video. That's just a side note in case you were ever wondering about what a perpendicularity is. But now I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of what investiture looks like in the different planet systems in the Cosmere. So the Stormlight Archive has a lot of tie-ins. Obviously Surge Binding, which is the basic magic system that we know of, that is like consuming investiture or taking in investiture. There's also Void Binding, which we don't know very much about as of yet. But you can bond with specific beings called Spren through the Nahal Bond, which is like the Surge Binding Bond, or the listener bond, so void binding. So you can create a bond between beings which enables use of this investiture. There are also the shard blades and honor blades, which are kind of invested beings, sort of. <laughs> but that's one I'm still a little bit iffy on. Just know that magic is important in those. <laughs> then we have cell, which is the setting for Elantris. So the like spelling and making the aeons in the air, aeon door, that is kind of accessing investiture. There's also something called Che Shan, I think that's how you say it, which takes place in another part of the world that we're not really experiencing during the story of Elantris. And then in The Emperor's Soul, which is a short story taking place on cell, there's blood sealing and forgery. Again, I'm not going to get into plot points where we talk too much about what each magic system does, but I want you to have these examples so that you know, okay, so this is investiture. This is how investiture is being used. And then for beings on cell that have this investiture, there are the seons, so the little floating companion things that have the symbol in the center. This one's more obscure because it's for a specific short story, Six of the Dusk, but that world is First of the Sun. And the aviars, or birds, are the invested beings of a sort. There's not exactly a magic system or anything, however, there are these magical beings. Then there's Nalthus, which is the setting for Warbreaker. Awakening, the breaths, is the form of magic in this world. However, there is one particular invested being, so maybe there are other invested beings we don't know, or invested items that kind of take on a consciousness because they're invested. And in Warbreaker, that is Nightblood, which is a sword. Then there's Taldane, which is the setting for the White Sand graphic novels, and Sand Mastery is obviously the form of magic that takes place there, and I don't know of any invested kind of beings. And then finally, there's Skadriel, which is the setting for Mistborn across multiple eras. As far as I know, 
there aren't any invested bonds or beings present in Skadriel. However, there are multiple forms of investiture as magic. So there's allomancy, which is using the metal as the mistborn do. There is ferrochemy, which is like the keepers use. And then there's hemallergy, which is very dark and scary, and I won't say too much about it. There are a couple of other points that I would want to just make about investiture, because I feel like there are things that are said when you're coming to understand the Cosmere universe that if you haven't heard it before, you're kind of like, I don't understand. So intent is a big thing with investiture. When you are accessing investiture to do something, then there's a specific intent that has to be there. For example, with surge binding and light weaving, you have to have a very specific image in mind to create that. And then there's also the connection between shards and investiture, because the more investiture you have, it's kind of like the closer you are to the specific shard of ad nauseum present in the world that's influencing the investiture, <laughs> which is kind of confusing. But people can be invested. There's a certain amount of innate investiture in all conscious beings, and the more investiture you hold, the more invested you are, the more power you have. So, for example, a person who is bearing a shard is extremely invested, like, max amounts of investiture. <laughs> a good example for this is the breath and warbreaker, because you could say the more breath you have, the more invested you are, but everybody is born with one breath. Does that make sense? or Mistborn are more invested than Mistings. But that was just a quick little rundown. I wanted to do another more basic video just to throw these terms out there and explain them to people who maybe you've seen them and you don't know what they mean. And I'm not a Cosmere expert or anything. I just like doing the research and putting the pieces together. And at this point, I've read everything I think that has been published in the Cosmere. But anyway, that is gonna be it for this video. Comment down below and let me know if you have any questions about investiture or any specific magic systems on the different planet systems. And also if you have any ideas for other topics that you think people would want to know more about in the Cosmere, things that are on a more like beginner kind of level for people who are reading multiple Cosmere works and trying to make the connections, let me know. And also if there's a specific kind of spoilery video that you'd like to see with my thoughts or analysis of Cosmere related things or specific events, let me know that too. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day and until next time, bye.